Hi, this is Christoph from Click. Today I would like to surprise you with something unexpectedly. I'm working on an innovation project with the target to get live data accessibility for ClickSense. Let me show you what I am currently up with. What you can see here is a query and the result of the query visualized in ClickSense natively. So if you change that query, you get a different visualization and really nothing is in the data model. So if I look here, the only field I have actually is a year because I wanted a year to work as a filter across multiple queries. So this affects the query to the left as well as to the right. But other than this, there is nothing like a customer name in the data model. And in fact, the app is almost empty. As a matter of fact, if you change, for example, the name and submit it and change the underlying data, come back, what you will see, the name has updated. And also here, look at that total with 348. And if I manipulate one of the data sets below and trigger an update, it has changed to 355. So it's both dimensions as well as measures coming live from the data. So I don't want to unveil all the secrets behind this, just on a high level what we did. Typically, the approach of live connectivity with Click used to be direct discovery. And this actually creates SQL based on the data model and sends it to a database. However, the dimensions need to be preloaded. Then there are approaches where we're using a server-side extension, a so-called analytical connector towards Python or any other wrapper who acts as the SQL injection towards the database and it returns via the formula into a hypercube the result. However, still the dimensions must be preloaded. And then there's the approach where you have a custom UI connecting to a database via Python, for example, that creates custom SQL, but actually you're not reusing any resource of the Click native client in this approach. And lastly, and that is what we are doing here, we're using Python as a middle tier that translates the SQL for us towards the ODBC database. And the result is actually thrown into the native UI in a pseudo hypercube. So I'm, let me know your honest opinion on this approach. Because it's an innovation project, we can stop it or we can contrive it ahead. Um, there's a SurveyMonkey link below. Please tell me your opinion about it. And with that, I wish you lots of fun with Click products and see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.